Hi and welcome to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial. Today I will show you a um, pergola space which is very useful in summer to sit outside, you can have it in the garden or in a public space I guess. Okay look I start up with this um, 3D slab I've got here, okay, as a base, and we use for this a shell tool. So I've got a shell tool here, and you know, just put a surface on, I've got a timber surface, I put on a roof layer, and <clears throat> let's make it 50 for now, the thickness, and you got to use this geometry uh, mode of the shell. A revolving mode, but we take, pick this one here. Okay, construction method is a detail. So let's zoom in a bit, starting up drawing here. Next one, then you double click, and then you, it will ask you where to revolve this around. So I'm going into the middle here, and as you can see, revolve it around, and I'm happy with 180. Let's click OK, and we have a look in 3D. All right, so that's the first step. We got our wooden pergola here. Now important is, you can see, if you're not happy with the segments here, you just select, open this, and you can go segment surface along rotation, and let's just make this 72 for now, so twice as many, there you go. All right, you can use even more, but that, that will do for now. Next step is, I like to move this up, as you can see, it's a bit too long, maybe move it up, there you go, and we go back into our 2D drawing. I like to now adjust this shell to my wave here, the curves, so that's just normal with a slab. You can just move them out. This one, I'm moving here. As you can see, both of them actually move. So if I can do that again, if I change anything, because it's revolved, it will change on both sides. All right. Back to 3D, let's see how that looks for now. Okay, pretty cool. The next step is now to do the slots for this. So what I do is, I've got a working section, as you probably heard before, I use this quite a lot. So let's open this working section. All right, so that's my working section. To get the slots on this shell now, I will use a slab and then convert the slab in to a morph element. All right, I'll show you. Let's just go from the middle here, like that, going 3D. So that's my piece of slab I've got here now. Let's change this slab and give it a material, I've got the material off somewhere here. Let's go and have a look. Oops, there it is. It's a material I don't want, I don't need. And it's in red. It's very clearly you can see to see. All right. So now we convert this to a morph object. Convert selection to a morph. There we go. And one more thing. It is moved on to a cutting element layer, which I already got here, but you will see we need this to cut the shell in a moment. All right. So Let's go to our working section. There you go, you can see our slab. And we move the slab up now. What we do is actually we move this into the middle here. So go to there. All right, so it's exactly in the middle. Let's have a quick look in 3D. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, in our working section, the reason is I changed this to um, a morph object we can now rotate this. I'll show you quickly. Just simple, obviously. See? Rotatable. Where a slab, you can't rotate like this. So I want to do a rotation here, multiply. And I like to distribute them. And I start up with 20. You will see I have to sort of have a feeling for it, how many I need. So let's start with 20. You don't pick an arc before import. All right, so go there. Rotation center here, this way, and we go all the way this way. All right, let's have a quick look. So if you go to 3D now, 
that's what we get. So I personally think that those slots are too wide. All right, so let's go back to the working section. Just do an undo step and we redo it. We do it with 40. Okay, same thing again. We go here, there, and around. Well, let's have a look how this looks then. Oops, I have selected this one. All right, I think that looks a lot better. I know what you mean, you can't see much, but in a moment I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's have a look at the section again. All right, so if I cut this now, I'll get um, a slot size of this distance. So again, this is up to you. It's just, it's just, it's a tutorial, tutorial, you know, and it's up to you which distance you really want to have. Okay, so in 3D now, what we do is we use the solid element operation and we select the target element, which is obviously our <clears throat> lovely shell. So we zoom in a bit. There we go. So that's the target. Now to select all the rest, what you do is you hold down shift all the way around. This will select all my um, morph elements. It deselects the shell and obviously it selected down here those pieces of slab which I don't need. So shift click and the other one too. Shift click and shift click. So I only got my morph elements which get operate elements. They are my operate elements. What you have to choose from the next one I want to choose subtraction and we execute. So I've got a layer setting set up here, I'll show you quickly, which I've exported work because if I go on the export, my cutting element is turned off. Okay. So export, okay, there you go. So that's the first step of the pergola. It's very nicely done and cut off. Great, so this is looking good. The next step I like to do is I have to add the, the well, horizontal, but let's, let's call those ones I have here as, as horizontal, but I want to have some uh, reinforcements, obviously, vertical through here. The way I do this, I select the shell, just go export. So I select the shell and what I do is I drag a copy and this shell I reduce now. Now we got 50 here, okay, the thickness of the shell. So I like to reduce this by 50. So we click here, we go down, all right, so which is Y, 50 minus, all right, and I do this with this one too, Y, 50 minus. And the last one too, and by the way, if I go here, you see the bottom, see, just the same. So Y 50 minus. Okay, what this does is now, let's, let's move this back. So I drag this back. Go in there. And 3D export. All right, so what it does is, see, it made a copy. And the distance is exactly the 50 I need. Okay, right. Next step, um, I do undo my move, or you can just drag it back, okay? Because now I like to cut that one. This one, I use some help lines. Let's make them red, it's easier to see. We go right here, extend this a bit. And the width, I like to have 50. Oh, actually, no, let, let's make it a 100. All right, so that's a 100. And for this purpose, I really like to have one, two, let, let's make it three. So I multiply I, my increment and we do three copies. Actually, let, let's distribute it again. We don't need, don't pick it up. Uh, oops. See, be careful here, you gotta go drag. All right, so 
Again, this is just a design, so I just do it by eye. Let, let's just do it here. All right. Now, how do we cut this one to make sure we only really get those 100 mil in between? What we do is simple. I'll get another slab and I put on the cutting element, obviously. So I have to turn that back on, which I can do on my working combination. So we got another slab. Let's just draw this slab from here to here. Okay. And let's see what's happening in 3D. All right. So obviously it is way too low, which is not a problem. So we move this up. Oops. Just make sure it's going over and around. Let's see. And again, material is sort of a habit of mine. Mine, I will use uh, material off. It's red. Nice to see. Great. So let's drag some copies here. There, there, and there. Okay. There we go. Obviously, this is extremely hard to see. I will show you now. Okay. You can always have a look quickly wireframe which i leave because i want to select this now right again target elements we use the solid element operation the target elements will be our shell of course there we go that's the target and those ones are the operator elements i use the same subtraction execute and let's just have a look what we do if i export this and have a look See, looking good. Now, I've shown you this before. It is very important. If I move the shell out, I show you what happened. If I drag the shell out here, it won't be cut anymore, right? See, you need the cutting element to move with the shell at all the time. Oh, yeah, otherwise you just lose the cut. So let's get back here. And now, best way to do is obviously, let's group this. And we drag this back. Okay, let's drag it from here to there. And we go to export. And let's just have a look what we got at the moment. There you go. This is looking really good now. Okay, see, we got horizontal and you got the vertical round beams or whatever you want to call them. All right, perfect. That looks really good actually. Now, to make it a bit more excited, I will just flip it over, you know, mirror copy. For this, I have to put my cutting elements on again. You know, you just need everything. So we take this, and we select everything. Let's just go like this. And I obviously don't need that. Don't need that. Oops. And that, that, that. Yeah, this is looking good. To zoom in, we mirror copy. Let's show you here. I always use my shortcuts, but for you, let's do it this way. So we mirror copy and I like to mirror it around here there you go we go to our export and we'll have another look at it there you go it's looking good now obviously you know stuff like this you just have to fix that up which is easy so we um, select drag this one to the middle same with this one there you go middle Ooh, I got two pieces on this one. Let's do that one again. And I think if I'm correct, I will be also on the other side. Oh, no, the other side is done. All right, cool, cool. So there you go. So that's that's our pergola. Okay, so the next bit, I'd just like to add some seating here, which I like to do, you know, just along exactly the same arcs. So I use a wall for this. Let's open that. I like my... Um, there will be two pieces. The first piece, piece I like to be 400 high. I uh, put the, on a, you know, seat material and 3D furniture. And I have it 600 wide. All right. To make it easier, I turn my shell layer off. 
which is suspend groups, shell, select all, and you right click and you can say hide layer. All right, let's go back to our wall. So I'm drawing from here. You can see how, by the way, the cursor changes here from stripe to black. Then you know exactly where the arc stops. And let's just do it to there. Okay, select this one. And we move to our shapes. Same one. Turn it around and just drag this in a bit. You know. All right. Let's see what I got here. All right. Obviously, it's a little bit low. I didn't check that. Yeah. So, turn around and we move this up. Right. So, we got this piece. The next piece I want to is we just drag a copy up from here. There you go. This one I want only 50. And I like to overlap this uh, a bit on either side by 20. So I've got 620, you know, each. Let's make it 640, whoops, 640. And now the construction line obviously, you know, has to move by 20 on to the other side. So, whoops, let's do that again, 20. So, so that's the construction line 20 here and we got 20 here perfect so let's go down to our drawing and one thing i like to do is the outside one let's extend that you know you just zoom in roughly the same and on this side too actually this side i'll, leave, I'll, I'll be copying it over all right cool. okay so you got this bench here which goes along there Right, let's just copy that. Suspend all groups, that one, and we just mirror copy. Oops, I didn't want to do that, did I? Okay, so now I want to copy this. We suspend the groups to make sure, yeah, we don't suspend, sorry, don't, don't suspend, and we mirror copy. Um, Let's do this here, where are we here? Uh, move, mirror, copy, there you go. And if we select this again, we can also mirror copy onto the other side. All right, let's mirror copy. And let's see, right, looking good. Let's go back to our export. And as you can see, you got a perfectly placed seating area now. All right. You could apply a quick, you know, a different material quickly instead of blue. Let's do that quickly. And we go in here, seat one, and we just search for texture. And let's just make a very simple one. Now the concrete will do now, maybe not concrete, let's make it a um, stone and take a granite, limestone, beautiful. All right, so we got limestone here now. Great, I think that's almost done. I will render it up quickly for you. All right, I hope you liked this tutorial and I see you next time. Bye for now.